Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your Just for Today in a meditation for July the 5th. Let's go ahead and get in that into that meditation. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Okay, the title of the meditation is Exploring Spiritual Options. The nature of our belief will determine the manner of our prayers and meditation. That comes from the basic text, page 44. How do we pray? For each NA member, this is a deeply personal matter. Many of us find that over time, we develop a manner of prayer and meditation based on what we learned from others and what we are comfortable with. Some of us arrive in in a with a closed mind toward a power greater than ourselves. But when we sit down with our sponsor and discuss our difficulty, looking at the second step in depth, we are pleased to find that we can choose any concept of a higher power that appeals to us. Just as our definition of a power greater than ourselves differs from addict to addict, so does our manner of achieving a conscious contact. Some attend religious services, some chant, some sit quietly or talk with whatever is out there. Some find a spiritual connection by communing with nature. The right way to pray and meditate is whatever way helps us improve our conscious contact with our own higher power. Asking others how they found their spiritual guidance is always a good place to begin. Reading literature before we enter periods of meditation can also help us. Many have gone before us on this search. As we seek spiritual growth, we can greatly benefit from their experience. Just for today, I will explore my options for improving my conscious contact with the God of my understanding. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please, and thank you. Well, that is exciting. I'm hoping that everyone is doing well this morning. This is a beautiful meditation, and this is a beautiful time in life with everything that is going on around you for you and I both to find time for prayer and meditation for us to seek a way that is going to work for us. As I mentioned the other day, I was amazed at the benefits of my previous prior and med, uh, prayer and meditation. So the time that I had spent previously praying and meditating up until the weekend was a lot of time. But the time invested over the weekend was very small in comparison. Very, very small in comparison. However, this accumulation of time over a period of time was what I believe showed up over the weekend in some uncomfortable situations. However, I was able to just breeze through them with peace, with understanding, I was able to be kind to people. And I felt, I honestly felt, wow, look how far you've come. You haven't been ritualistic or religious per se about your prayer and meditation time. You've just done what you could when you could. And you landed on your feet very well here. That probably is what works for me. 
now I'm not going to stop having dedicated time for that. But it's good to know that I can just do five minutes here, 10 minutes there, 20 over there, and it works for my lifestyle. What works for you? Some of you are thinking, I don't know what works for me. I mean, I just pray when I feel exhausted, anxious, or angry. I just pray really quick, and that seems to help me get through in that moment. Yeah, I haven't really developed uh, an 11th step in my life yet. Well, as the reading the other day said, now is a good time to stop. Just imagine if the foxhole type prayers you are praying in that moment of need that you're relying on your higher power. Let's put it like that, a little less harshly. If that's working, maybe adding some dedicated time will also work a little bit better. I'm not really sure what you need to do. I just know that for me, I'm enjoying both because having both allows me to sort things out, not in a rushed manner, and to listen very well without feeling rushed to listen. Today, explore your options on improving your conscious contact with the God of your own understanding. That's why that's important, because that is what you will embrace. And if you don't have an understanding, right? If you don't have a step three, be willing to admit that you don't and that you're going to explore what works for you. It's easy to gravitate to someone else's higher power because you see the fruit in their life. And it's also easy to gravitate towards not really having a higher power, having no God. I can't imagine my life without God. But it's easy for people to gravitate towards that. It's the course of least resistance it appears to be. Especially in this day and age, you can barely express anything about faith, God, love, causes that promote uh, God at all. You can barely even have a conversation without offending someone. And so a lot of people just don't approach the topic. But that doesn't mean that it's not there. Just because you don't talk about it doesn't mean that it does not exist. And it doesn't mean that you should make a decision about God, your God. It doesn't mean that you should. Avoidance here gets you nothing you're still going to be in a position of having to be humble enough to figure it out. I know you can do it. I've done it. Now, some of you have really heard my experience, strength and hope on spirituality versus, versus religiosity. You've heard my experience, strength and hope. So you know that I have done it. And I believe that if I can do it, I believe that you can do it as well. I really do. I'm going to have a great day on purpose. And I want you to do the same. Have a beautiful day on purpose. We woke up this morning. Everything from there is uphill. So let's go. I will be talking to you soon.